I'm Patty Fernandez and I'm an art teacher. Visit my website at pattyfernandezartist.com. Okay, let's draw. Today's project is how to draw a foreground, middle ground, and background Thanksgiving picture. I take, let's do three. I do. Three fingers over here on the left and put a dot. And from that dot, I'm going to draw a big curved line down in on the left. Come back to the dot, big curved line down and leave it floating. Come back to the left and we're just going to draw another curve line down, straight line off the page. Come on the right hand side, curve line down, straight line down off the page. Come inside and we're going to draw a curve line, straight diagonal down, straight diagonal up, connect, come straight down and draw a curve line down and up connect and right next to it curve line down up connect come up inside and let's draw one dot two dots come down to this space one dot two dots starting over here on the left we're going to draw a curve line and it goes right off the page come to this indentation we're going to draw a curve line up off the page it's so big it comes back around and comes in there we're going to draw a straight line curve line up straight line down connect big curve line out in connect little straight line out curve line up connect I come over here right about here and we're just going to draw a curve line curve line curve line curve line off the page starting over here on this side we're going to draw one two straight lines come right above put a dot in the center straight line down on the left straight line down on the right come inside and draw straight line straight line for a box straight line straight line straight line connect straight line straight line straight line connect skinny rectangles straight line straight line straight line connect straight line straight line straight line connect and down here in the center straight line straight line and dot Come over here towards the right, a little bit smaller. We're going to draw one, two straight lines down. Come up to the top in the center, put a dot. Straight diagonal down on the left, straight diagonal down on the right. Right up here at the center, we're going to draw another straight line, straight line, straight line, connect. Skinny rectangle, straight line, straight line, straight line, connect. Skinny rectangle, straight line, straight line, straight line, connect and come straight down in the center. One, two, three straight lines and a dot. Okay, the closer something is to you, the bigger it seems. So this space is our foreground and this space is our middle ground. Right in between these two, we're going to draw a curve line, straight line down, connect. Come over here, draw a curve line, straight line, down, connect. Come back to the left, curve line, curve line, curve line, connect. Curve line, curve line, curve line, connect. Curve line, curve line, curve line, connect. Now, this is the middle ground. Up here, far, far away, is our background. Curve line, curve line, curve line, connect. We're going to do an overlap, hook it up, curve line, curve line, curve line, connect. And over here, if you have room, curve line, curve line, curve line, connect. Come all the way down to this space and we're just going to draw a curve line, curve line, curve line. Starting up here, put a dot, 
curve line out, in, out, in, connect. Start as a dot, curve line out, out, in, out, connect. Right here at the end, put a dot, curve line out, in, out, in, connect. Curve line out, in, out, in, connect. Right here, put a dot, curve line out, in, out, in, connect. Curve line out, in, out, in, connect. All right, let's see how we're gonna color this in. Okay, we are going to double color, triple color, light to dark on a lot of these. I'm going to start over here with my orange and do this space orange. And you will notice that we're going to pretty much do fall colors. So maybe instead of calling this a Thanksgiving drawing composition, I should call it a fall composition. So I did orange on top and this I color in red. Now, if you have multicultural cramps, I use this in a loop-de-loop -loop filler kind of space to go over these big sections so they don't look so white. Now if you don't have multicultural cramps, you can just leave it alone it'll still look great. Now I'm going to come over here and do this space multicultural crayons and like I said it just puts a layer of color on everything and I'm going to do this side multicultural crayons and for exactly the same reason I don't want everything to look so white white. Okay then I come back over here and using my brown, I'm going to lightly loop-de-loop -loop just this bottom space so you can see the loop-de-loops. This is the dark color just to give a little bit of texture and then I'm going to color this space brown, jump over this space brown. I'm going to color my skinny rectangles and my little square up here, brown. And I'm going to do these also, brown. And I'm going to start up here and color, not color, but use a brown line to color this space, brown. Then I'm going to come in, if you have red orange. I'm going to color this space red orange. If you don't have red orange you can use a regular red or you could use a regular orange but I'm going to color this space red orange. I'm going to color these spaces red orange just to give a pop of color and I'm going to take my red and I'm going to color this rectangle down here red. Okay, now using my regular orange, I'm going to color this space orange. Then I'm going to pop over and color this left space orange. Okay, now I'm going to take yellow and I, this is a triple color. I'm going to put some yellow on these spaces first. These all have a little bit of yellow first. Then I'm going to go over it with my yellow orange to give it another coat of color on each one of these. Finally, I come back in with my red orange and I just add a little bit of red orange. So that's got all uh, three colors on this one space. I like doing triple colors. All right, now for this bottom space I'm going to use yellow green. Regular green was a little too intense so I used my yellow green first coat of color and then I took another one of my multicultural browns I think this might be mahogany and I just went lightly over it. Okay? 
finally, I think I'm done with this. You know how I am. I take my gray crayon and I do straight lines in the background of my picture. And that is the last section that we did, or we are doing. So the foreground is all of these shapes in here, okay? The middle ground is this space here, and the background are my gray stripes. Okay, let's see what this looks like all colored in. Okay, here is my fall composition all colored in. Foreground, middle ground, background stripes. Okay, bye-bye.